So here in this package, I have some stuff I bought from Goodwill. I'm honestly not sure what's in this exact package. I went crazy one week and bought like 10 different things from the Goodwill auction site. And so I have like 10 boxes sitting around and I don't know which is which. I could look up the tracking numbers compared to the order numbers and figure out, uh, but I'll just put it in the, you know, in the title, what it, what's in here. And we'll find out in just a second. So the moment of truth, I got like a packing slip or something in here first. It looks like I have a PSP 1001 with a couple games. So let's hope that's what's in here. Got some nice bubble wrap. And man, they actually bubbled up, bubble wrapped this thing up pretty nicely. But it looks like the console is here. And nice. That thing actually looks pretty good. Got a lot of smudges on it, but I don't see any major, major scratches. Buttons all feel nice. And I don't remember if this is one of the uh, something that's untested or tested. Uh, you know, Goodwill can be kind of sketchy because uh, a lot of the stuff is untested. Um, some of the stuff is tested, but you're, I honestly don't remember what this one was. We'll test it out in a minute and put that to the side. And I guess in here is all the games. I don't remember <laughs> what games are here. We got, all right, we actually got a movie, Joe Dirt. We got Ultimate Avengers, the movie. We got... Crouching Tiger, got Barbershop. I do remember this now that I bought something with a bunch of movies. And we do actually have some games here, but they're all with no um, no case. So we got, what is this? Star Wars Battlefront, Elite Squadron, NBA 2K10. I actually have this game for the PSP. That's funny. Tiger Woods 07 and MLB 08 The Show. So basically a bunch of sports games that are probably worth a dollar. I'm not quite sure what the value is on these movies. Might be some gems in there. Not sure, but... Let's go ahead and try to turn the PSP on. So I have a feeling this thing is not charged up, but we'll try to turn it on anyway, and then I'll plug a charger in if it's not uh, not charged up. All right, definitely no charge. So let me plug this thing in, and we'll see if it works. So I found my PSP charger, um, but then it wouldn't charge, so I realized this thing actually doesn't have a battery. It does usually have the cover on it, but I opened up the cover, and there's no battery. So then I grabbed my PSP 2000 battery, and apparently that thing's dead as well, so... <laughs> We're just going to try this with uh, just the charger and hopefully that turns on. Oh, cool. We got power. All right. So it looks like I probably just need a new battery for this thing. Because it looks like we do have life. The screen looks good, which is a relief. Buttons seem to work. And this thing actually feels really nice. It looks good. Um, I mean, look at the back. I don't see like any scratches or anything. It looks good. If you open up the back here, if I can... Get it to go. There we go. All right. So you slide the UMD in there. So let's go ahead and try out one of the ones they gave us. We got MLB 08, the show. <laughs> Just a little bit old. Clip it in there. I've never actually used a PSP 1000. I have a PSP 2000, and that's the only one I've ever used. And so this one is definitely a little bit heavier. It's nice in the hands, though, because it's a little bit thicker. Now let's see if this game loads up. Cool. All right. So uh, I have to update. Oh. Now this uh, system software is very old. I wonder if there's anything special about that. I'm not I'm not privy to the PSP modding community, so I'm not sure if there's any significance to the uh, to the software I'm on. So I'm only on 3.8, which seems very old. I'm pretty sure my PSP 2000 is on like seven or eight or something. Actually, I think it just told me what I needed to be on. So it actually told me right here I needed to be on 6.2, but I'm pretty sure there's something even more recent than 6.2. So I'm not gonna update for now, but it is good to see this thing working. And I guess I just need to buy a battery. Um, I always find it funny to see these uh, movies on PSPs. Like I actually had a couple movies. I actually still have them, um, but I never haven't used them in a long time. I just want to try a movie, Barbershop. I had what what PSP movie do I have? I think it's like National Treasure or something. National Treasure one or two. It's just it's always funny getting these uh, movies on these portable consoles. I think the Game Boy Advance actually had some movies or I don't know if it was movies or TV shows or something like you could watch Spongebob on your Game Boy Advance, which is kind of funny. But let's see if this uh, movie works. This one might make me update as well, but we'll try it out. All right, so there it is, UMD. And sure enough, the movie looks like it works. It's always, I just find it cool to see uh, movies on a small screen like this, even though you can do it on your, you know, your smartphone nowadays, but it was always so cool back in the day when you could watch movies on a portable screen um but yeah kind of cool i don't remember what i paid for this but i'll look it up on goodwill and throw it up on the screen i guess at the time i thought it was reasonable i don't know if i knew there was no battery in here or not like i said i bought like 10 things from goodwill like almost within a couple days of each other so i honestly do not remember exactly what i bought but this psp does look really good i just need to buy a new battery for it 
So thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you want a possibility of your games or systems or whatever being in a video, go to my website, jrobgaming.com, go to the trade-in page and I'll give you a price for everything you wanna trade in. Uh, now there's no guarantee you're gonna be in a video, but I'm trying to post most of my trade-ins and stuff I buy, at least on my second channel, just doing a brief unboxing. But yeah, thanks for watching guys and have a great day.